Well, howdy, y'all. It's Marina. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video than what I normally do and it is a small booktuber shout out. All of us on booktube I think struggle with feeling like we don't get recognition kind of. I know when I transferred my channel from fashion to booktube I thought that it may be a little hard grasping the attention of booktubers and booktube watchers. It's just something we struggle with especially if you're starting from zero subscribers and some of you I've watched really deserve more recognition than what you get. With there being such a big pool now of booktube, it's kind of hard to really watch everybody. Like I'm subscribed to several different channels and I find that it's super hard to watch everybody's video, especially right when it's posted. And I feel bad for that because I'm like, there's so many good booktubers and I don't get to support them like I would like to. So that being said, I thought what better way to support you guys, especially those of you that I watch that I may not be able to comment on your videos a lot, that I support you. So today I'm bringing you eight booktube channels that I frequently watch, personally love, and feel they deserve more recognition than what they have. All of these booktubers have less than a thousand subscribers. We'll go ahead and start off with Paul Reeds. Now you're probably aware of him if you have been watching booktube a while. From what I understand, he's been on booktube for quite a while. He does have, I think, almost 600 subscribers, but I feel like he deserves so much more. I've recently started watching him and I've got his notification bell rung so anytime he posts a video I'm notified and I try to always if I'm not busy at the moment go and check out his video and make sure to like it and leave a comment. He talks about such a variety of books that basically anyone in the booktube community can watch his videos and be like satisfied because he talks about YA, he talks about suspense, he talks about like adult and he has a really interesting way of reviewing those books he's very honest he will give you his honest opinion so you never have to worry about whether he's sugarcoating anything and he's just really got a welcoming personality i really really hope that he continues to make booktube videos because really he's one that i will probably watch for however long i'm on here because the diversity of what he reads is so far beyond any limits that basically I, if I'm into YA, I can watch him. If I'm into new adult, I can watch him. If I'm into adult, I can watch him. If I'm into fiction, nonfiction, mystery, thrillers, contemporary, I can watch him. And that's what I really love about him. So I will link his channel below as well as all the other booktubers I talk about in this video in case you guys want to check them out. I will link them in order of the number that I talk about them. So Paul will be the first one linked. And yeah, go check him out. Show him some love. Let him know that I sent you there. I promise you will not be disappointed. The next booktuber I'd like to talk about is Hannah over at Hannah Books and Other Things. Hannah is so adorable. I love her personality. She's, I've already called it going to be my booktube bestie. I can already tell. We vibe. We have a lot in common. She's a mom as well and she talks about a lot of YA, which are the books that I'm currently into right now. So yeah, go check her out. I will also have her linked below. I think she has 300 and something subscribers. I'm, I'm not sure, I didn't check. I should have checked before I started this video. But I think, I think that it's 300 and something subscribers, but she deserves a lot more. So go check her out and let her know that I sent you guys. The third one is Bookish Brie, and she is the most recent booktuber that I have just been obsessed over. I'm binge watching her videos right now. She did this one video recently where like she read like this creepy story, like creepy pasta story, and I was like freaking out the whole time because I'm a chicken, and I was like, girl, girl, how are you reading that? I'm scared. I got all my lights on. I'm sitting here in daylight next to my husband, and you're freaking me out. How are you reading this? She's got a great personality. Her videos are top-notch quality. She's always made up so beautifully. I really get good vibes off her. So go check her out. Let her know that I sent you. The next one is Mae Reads, and this is one of the first friends I made on BookTube. She is just so energetic, and I love her. She's so sweet. Her reviews and her videos are very informative. We like the same kind of books, really. But the way she goes into depth about the reviews, her feelings on the book in general, she does a really good job at reviewing books. So go check her out. I think she has like 600 subscribers now. I'm pretty sure. Let her know I sent you. The fifth one is Charlie Troth. And guys, this girl is so adorable. Like she is so naturally just like pretty, like personality, like 
physically like she's just so like her vibe is just pretty if that makes sense she's a great speaker i mean i'm pretty sure if she had speech in high school she aced that she's great at reviewing the books she's great at recommending books you can always count on her to comment on your videos i can't tell you how many times i've like been like I know Charlie's gonna comment on this video and then I look down at my comments and there's Charlie commenting on the video. She's super sweet, she's extremely supportive and she's just all around really adorable and you guys will love her, I promise. So go check her out and let her know I sent you. And then there's the sixth one, Leslie Cardix and this girl is so cool. She's also a frequent commenter and a great supporter. She makes great review videos. She is always recommending me something either in the comments of her videos or the comments of my videos. She's really the type of person that you just wanna be friends with on BookTube because she's so active. She is constantly recommending books, constantly reviewing books, constantly like showing your channel support. And I try to show her just as much because she deserves so many more subscribers than what she has. I can't remember the last time that I looked how many she had but I think I'm pretty sure it's under 300 and she deserves so many more than that the quality of her videos is good she speaks well she reviews well she recommends great recommendations so go check her out and let her know I sent you the seventh one is caffeinated reads that's Paulina and guys I love Paulina so much we vibe she is one of my most favorite booktubers on booktube I also have her notification bell rung and anytime that she posts a video I try to always be the first to comment because she literally I think she has under 300 subscribers uh maybe two, under 200 but I think it's under 300 subscribers and she deserves so many more than that because the quality of her videos is great she really is just like what you would want a booktuber to be because she talks about books so like it just comes to her for someone like me like I struggle to talk about books because for so long I didn't have anybody to talk about books to I just kind of molded over my brain and then that was it but she talks so well about the books that she reads and the books she wants to read and she just has really good like videos if you like kind of what I have on my channel the videos that I post on my channel then you will definitely love what Paulina posts over at caffeinated reads because it's it's very similar go check her out show her some love and let her know I sent you and the eighth and final one is Lori Dawson Lori Dawson is super sweet she includes her family in a lot of her like videos even though they they are booktube related she does a lot of like vlogs and I've seen a few videos on her channel of her with her and her husband and I would like to eventually do that and bring my husband into the booktube scene a little bit he does like to read but he doesn't really read novels or books or series or anything he like sticks to like manga and comics and stuff like that I would really love to bring him into the scene more like she does her husband so I really admire her for doing that I love watching her videos including him and excluding him like anything she does it's really good She's more of a realistic goal reader like she doesn't read super fast and a super lot or anything like that but you can tell the things that she does read like she really like retains and I love the realisticness of that some of us are parents and do have families and don't have time to read 20 books a month that's just not feasible for us so to come across somebody who kind of is in tow with you and not being able to read a whole lot it's really refreshing so go check her out let her know I sent you and yeah guys that's the eight booktubers I wanted to tell you guys about. There's so many more that I did not get to and I will probably do another video about this because you've got people that I've got people that I just I love so much and they have like 100 subscribers and less and I literally love their videos. They have such good quality videos and it is nice to watch the big booktubers like Poland and Bananas and Paley and Bookland and stuff like that but we also need to focus on the small booktubers too because that's where the community really grows. If you become friends with somebody who's starting their channel out at four subscribers then you're more than likely if you keep your relationship intact will be friends with them when they have 4,000 subscribers and that's really how the community like circles around so make sure that you support the small booktubers not only the booktubers I mentioned but anytime that you see a small booktuber that seems to be struggling with views or with subscribers support them let them know that you're there I promise you it will make their day. Don't forget I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys later.